my friends, welcome to another video. This week, the weekly energy is for the week of July 25th through the 31st. I hope you all have had a fun July, month of July. With the full moon in Capricorn behind us now, we are in a new moon cycle with a new moon in Leo and in Leo season. So let's get some messages around what this week will hold for us. Let's focus on what this week will bring. We have nothing will come of the situation, the void of course moon. The void of course um, happens often as in like anytime it's between signs, the moon is technically not in a sign when it's between signs. Um, that's what this means. Nothing will come of this moon. So there may be something this week that is worth just um, letting go of, not touching on. Then we have the new moon Virgo, which we had last week. Time to give rather than take. So this is really focusing, uh, wanting us to focus in on how we can be of service as in like what is our purpose what is purpose-driven work versus versus the opposite of that which would be like doing something because it's indulgent or materialistic and then we have the full moon in pisces balance spirituality and practicality okay okay Yeah, how do you find your spirituality in everyday things? Manifesting doesn't have to be like a huge undertaking or like a huge project that you achieve every single time, but little things, the daily things, the everyday things. All right, we have the energy underneath, five of cups, the magician again from last week. Whatever this energy is, it's sticking around for a little while. And the Seven of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Sun. Okay, I just, I had to pull a few because I just felt like I didn't want to just leave it at this like Five of Cups. I mean, there's so, a theme could be there's some sort of regret here around something that didn't occur the way that you had wanted to, the way you, something that was you had put a lot of time and effort into but and it wasn't because of your own effort or non-doing that something didn't occur it just didn't didn't happen some sort of external there was some sort of external influence so let's keep going but i have a feeling like what this message might be about oh there's the ghost the eight of Cup, sorry, the Nine of Cups, the Wish card, the Shooting Star, Four of Swords, Six of Wands, Autumn or Fall. This is a special card from this deck. The Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Hey, that's really nice. Um... If you watched last week's video, if you're into the cards in general, then you will notice, maybe then you will notice, that there's some repetitions from last week. The Queen of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, a lot of cup energy as well. So I feel like there's some things, because they do weekly energies, and this is like literally, hopefully reflecting energy of astral bodies moving in the sky. This is a bit of like a soap opera, and I don't expect it to like, everything each week to be cut and dry so you know i feel like this shift into leo like from cancer into leo um might be a bit triggering for some people not everybody just in general could be a time that we are called to face um either some old fear or some old lesson or just some old story 
a simple story. The ghost is about what stories do you tell yourself to stay comfortably scared? It's like you want something else. You're wishing and wanting for something else, but because of the story you're telling yourself of why you didn't get it, why it didn't happen for you, is actually what's keeping you in this stuck place. So I feel like the, the work here is similar to that of last week's, as in like, take some time out, meditate, don't give in to impulsivity or sort of this feeling of, um, there could be like a risk of materialistic sort of behavior. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with indulging every once in a while. Um, but that's just sort of what's showing up here is that like the wish card victory, right? Like, so you're getting something and then like the, the, the opulence card, the luxury card, this is your self-confidence. So this is very strongly pushing towards or pointing towards that you can almost like go out there and get whatever you want. So, but, but the, 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 the new moon Virgo card is saying a time to give rather than take. And I see a lot of taking on the table. So that's why I say all that. Um, this could be about, we see the autumn card. This is a, a, a time of good harvest. This is also the time of generosity and sharing your wealth with people. So it's almost like it's not enough for you to go out and get something for yourself. If it doesn't support or, you know, if it supports you, that's one thing, and that's a po obviously a positive thing. But if it's also only supporting you and not really doing much good in the world, then you may face a situation or have a line of questioning about like, well, why am I doing this? What you know, nothing will come of nothing will come of the situation. This void of course moon. It's like you're producing something in your life, but it's not interacting with anything. That's when it's time to get in touch with. This is about rest meditation and this is about getting in touch with your intuition. This is the story. The store, the ghost is the story. What story are you telling yourself that this is how you got here? Like, why are you going for this opulence? Maybe you're gunning for something more than what you already have, and yet the Ten of Cups is here showing up. That it's like, you know, in this hidden energy, it's like you have it already. Um, so to go back to the... These, the, 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 whoa, oh, the cards underneath, the spread I pulled underneath here. We have the Sun card, and the Sun is Leo energy. We're now in Leo season. The sun card is um, a bit of like a future card, right? Normally there's like a child on the, um, on a horse. In this case, it is a skunk on a moose. I love this deck, it's the Northern Animal Tarot. Um, it's, it's calling, this card asks us to focus, to focus in on that which is important to us. You know, and this weekend, it's Leo. So we have the new moon in Leo. There'll be a video on that soon. Or if there is, it's here. Yep, it's right there. That's, I think, on Thursday. And then, like, the moon is still in Leo over the weekend. The intention of the new moon and then the the weekend could be something like um, increasing your playfulness, like don't be so serious about things that are not falling into place exactly as you want them, because it's not just you, like this isn't your fault. There's other things going on. <laughs> and if you cannot manifest things physically, it's time to go within and work just more on yourself, right? And if there is a good reason that something that you endeavored did not work out, the Leo moon weekend could be a good time to 
um, ask for feedback, as in learn to give and receive criticism. And so if you set the intention before the weekend, during the new moon in Leo, to lighten your energy, to, um, to be a little bit more playful, then the work that this weekend is asking us to do, um, which is aimed at personal growth, right? There's, this is the reason that we, mm, the way that we grow is through sharing information, being vulnerable, but being secure in our own truth. You know, there's, there is a bit of regret here around something that you attempted. That's why I say I don't think it worked out. This will not be true for everybody, obviously. And I think that some people may be a little bit hard on themselves for something that didn't work out. That's what I'm getting. Other people, I think, had success and then maybe were, were, have been so successful that they're like on the other wild end of that spectrum of like regret for going too far. And I think what this week is really wanting us to do, because Leo is so, so out there, like Leo just wants to be seen, heard, played with, you know, I think that's why the message of this card is like, be a little bit more, like lean more into the nuance of things, balance spirituality and practicality. There's a practical way we use our voice we use our behaviors in, in the world. That it, to me, that's a practical thing like that we have to express ourselves. Um, and not, not more so less practical ways, but more spiritual ways would be, you know, more on the inside, like more, less seen, more felt, more, and I don't wanna say less real, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. Balance spirituality and practicality. So balance that Leo that wants to like burst out the seams with some good old fashioned, I'll say, you know, salt baths and meditation or yoga and meditation, Reiki and meditation. Realize that what you have, regardless of whether at this moment you think it's too much or too little, is actually just enough and exactly is putting you exactly where you need to be to realize you have already your wish. There's a couple more things I want to say. I feel like oh, one of them was a Polish saying. Nie bądź taki do przodu, pociw z tyłu braknie. Which is like, don't be so forward because you'll lose on the back end. You know, don't lean too far forward. Stay centered. Keep your center of gravity. Don't be impulsive. Um, and then the other thing I want to say was about this sort of message right here. It's like, you're wishing for something that is already here. If you just dig around a little bit, there's the autumn card. This is the harvest. Leaves are falling. There's like a renewal happening of spirit um, that has nothing to do with the physicality of what is actually around you. I think this has a lot to do with your attitude. So... How can you use your playfulness and your expressiveness this week and for this new moon intention that you can set this week to grow and expand your own uh, confidence in your spirituality. How about that? That's, a, that's probably a good prompt. And how does that bring you the love that you want in your life? Not just romantic love, but the kind of love that is here and available for everyone between anyone, right? Just like between among humanity and and animals and and the earth 
because I think that's like what's here and what wants to be shown. Um, and yet I see two trajectories of like maybe a group of people saying like, I, I don't feel like I have enough or that I will be enough. And another subset of people who are like, I have everything that I could possibly need, like in a physical way. So how could I want for anything else? There's a middle way. There's a middle way here that's like pointing towards more collective love, but it has to be focused. Like we, I think we all have to be on the same page here. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.